the Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a revolutionary by sharing a Fan Bragging story of great customer service on Facebook.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Hey, does telling your story so it gets heard, understood, and remembered sometimes feel like Mission Impossible? Well, Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR can help. Jerry's here on the Experience Pros Radio Show every week at this time with a tip to help you tell your story. Welcome back, Jerry. What's our storytelling tip this week? Well, today's tip is talk to us like we're six-year-olds. No. Like you're, are you no. acting like a six-year-old? No, I'm talking All to right. him like the six-year-old. Jerry, are you suggesting that we talk down to our listeners, our customers? No, a- absolutely not. You know, I, I have... Um, uh, I'm, I'm very fortunate to have nine kids, grandkids in my life, and I have learned to really respect how smart kids are. And if you think about how you talk to a six-year-old, first of all, you have to give them your absolute full attention. You cannot just sort of slough them off. If that they want to talk true. to you, you, ha- they, they, you have to give them your full attention. You have to be very clear. You have to get rid of all that extra stuff that we tend to clutter up our stories with with a six-year-old or a four-year-old, for that matter. You have to be really clear with your story. You also have to be very concrete. You start talking abstractions to a six-year-old, they're going to tune you out. And the reality is that for any of us, concrete examples are much easier to understand and to remember than abstract ideas. Can I use the phrase, because I said so? No, I don't think so. All right. Probably not with your customers. All right. Okay. You also need to be honest. You know, if you try BSing a kid... They're going to catch you, and and you're just done. They're going to tune you out at that point. And finally, you need to be prepared for a lot of questions, and you need to be prepared to answer those questions as well as you can and as honestly as you can. So I think it, you know, if you understand that kids are really smart, you have to respect them. That's the way we want to treat everybody else. All right, so, Jerry, what happens if uh, if, we, if we say something in, in error or, or maybe we just mess up? What, what what then? You know, you just say, hey. You own I it. Stop. I own up. You own and it. And then you start over, and you hope that you didn't mess up so badly that you've lost respect or trust. But, you know, we all make mistakes. We all misspeak, or we all uh, just get something wrong. And that, that's part of life. And as long as you don't want to make too big a deal out of it, and as long as you don't do it all the time, and as long as you're not doing it intentionally. Yeah. You know, and I, Jerry, I think that when it comes to answering the questions and being clear and being honest, this is a great storytelling tip because I think, you know, last week you talked about don't let the truth get in the way of the story. Well, the facts get away. Or the facts, the facts get away in the way of the story. But we want to always make it so complicated and we want to use all these extra words and we want to use these other phrases and we lose, we lose the message and we lose the point. And, you know, all those extra things you're throwing in there at the rest of us in hopes that that's the one thing that's going to finally push us over the edge of doing whatever it is you want us to do. What you're really doing is making it so that we're not going to hear any of what you say and forget it all. So, so Jerry, why why did you pick a six-year-old? Well, you know, I'm getting ready to go to California to visit uh, a grandson who just turned six. Okay. Really smart. I'll probably hang out with his parents, too, but <laughs> I'm going to see my grandson. Uh, you know, that, that is awesome. I'll tell you what, uh, I, I like the tip. Talk to your audience, and, and when you're telling your story, talk to your audience as if they were a six-year-old. And uh, for more information about Jerry's uh, storytelling tips, make sure you visit jerrybrownpr.com. That's a great blog out there. Yes, he always has a blog that matches up with the storytelling tip that he brings here on the radio show every week. Make sure you go to Jerry Brown PR, jerrybrownpr.com. Read the blog, share it with your friends, and make sure that you take it Jerry's advice, because we do call him King Midas. Absolutely. You know, I reminded that uh, late journalist, uh, screenwriter, and Denver native Gene Fowler, who said, writing is easy. All you have to do is sit and stare at a blank sheet of paper until drops of blood form on your forehead. Keep your forehead dry and hire Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR to help you write your blog posts, social media postings, articles, press releases, your PowerPoint presentations, and more. And he can also help you edit what you've already written. Jerry Brown at jerrybrownpr.com. You can reach Jerry at Jerry at jerrybrownpr.com or by phone at 303-594-8016. That's 303-594-8016. Don't go anywhere. You're listening to Angel and Eric on the most positive business talk show in America. 
The experienced pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. <laughs> 